Nonverbal cues, ending conversations gracefully. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the world of nonverbal communication. As we interact with others, especially in English-speaking cultures, the way we end conversations is just as important as how we start them. And a lot of it is not just in the words, but also in our body language. Let's explore the subtle hints and cues we give and receive when we're wrapping up a conversation. When someone is ready to end a conversation, they often exhibit certain body language cues. Recognizing these can prevent awkward moments and help ensure smooth social interactions. 1. Looking away or checking the time. If someone glances at their watch or the clock, it could mean they're conscious of the time and might need to wrap things up. 2. Shifting weight. People might shift their weight from one foot to the other, indicating restlessness or a desire to move on. 3. Positioning towards the exit. If they subtly move or position themselves closer to an exit, door, or pathway, they might be signaling that they're preparing to leave. 4. Decreased eye contact. Reducing the amount of eye contact could be a hint that they're mentally checking out of the conversation. 5. Shorter responses. Giving brief answers or nodding without adding much to the conversation can indicate they're trying to wind down. Just as it's important to recognize when someone else is ready to end a conversation, it's useful to know how to use non-verbal cues yourself. 1. Maintain respect. While it's okay to show signs that you're ready to conclude, it's crucial to be polite. Abrupt or rude gestures can harm relationships. 2. Pair with verbal hints. Non-verbal cues can be paired with verbal ones like, I should be going soon, or, I have another appointment. 3. Consistent signals. Ensure your body language is consistent. If you're checking your watch, also shift your stance to show you're ready to leave. 4. Friendly facial expression. Even if you're signaling the end, maintain a friendly face to show you enjoyed the conversation and bear no ill will. When you notice someone giving off signals that they're ready to finish a conversation, it's essential to respond gracefully. 1. Acknowledge verbally. Say something like, it looks like you have to go, let's catch up later. This shows you're observant and considerate. 2. Avoid extending the chat. Don't introduce a new, lengthy topic at this point. Respect their time and intent. 3. End on a positive note. Summarize the discussion and emphasize any positive aspects. E.g., it was great discussing this with you. 4. Plan for the next interaction. Mention the possibility of meeting or chatting again in the future, ensuring continuity in your relationship. And that wraps up our journey into the world of nonverbal cues for ending conversations. Remember, it's all about balance and respect. The more attentive you are to these cues, the more smoothly your social interactions will go. I hope you found this video helpful, and until next time, happy communicating.